My name is Matt and if you're new here, I am travelling all the way around the world. I am currently in Bhutan, Nepal, a beautiful part of the world. If you haven't seen it, go and check it out. Why I think this packing video is going to be so good to watch is because I call it the Pack for Everything video. Over the next year, I'll be going from the Himalayan mountains where I'm trekking through sub-zero degree temperatures, through to Africa, the deserts of Egypt, even parts of Europe. So let's take a look at what I'm packing. To start with, I'll be switching out the Tropic Fuel black backpack to going with the Osprey Daylight as my everyday carry. The Osprey Aether AG as my main travel backpack. I love this bag, it's been with me on most of my trips so far. Alright, let's start with the let's start with the easy stuff. Passport wallet. World map in case I get lost. I have to keep my raincoat in the everyday carry. Also in here will be GoPro, extra camera batteries, power bank, and then in the top section, a buff, headphones, head torch, a bit of carabiner, and I believe that's it for now. Now, I normally wouldn't take a sleeping bag, but since we're gonna be doing a lot of trekking in the Himalayas and in Africa, I think it's a handy one to carry. So I whack that right into the bottom of the Aether. On this trek, on, on this trip, I'm taking one pair of runners where they're just black Nikes, they can go with everything, a pair of thongs, and my hiking boots. The next pieces, uh, I've got my, my black puffer jacket, which I'll use for most of the hike, so I've got a travel towel. Now, in this packing cube, we've got pretty much all of my hiking gear, so we've got a pair of long johns for sleeping, uh, three woolen shirts for trekking in, one real thick woolen top for sleeping in, and trekking pants. The reason why they're in their own packing cube is because I won't really need them too often. So they can stay tucked away and things won't get too messy. Okay. Then it's important that when you're packing for a year like this, you put the stuff that you're not going to use often at the back. Hence why I've left the biggest packing cube and my toiletry bag and all my socks and jocks for last. They can go on top because I'll need them more often. In this packing cube, we've got one, two, three, four t-shirts and two singlets. Plus I've got the one that I'll be wearing. And then if need be, I've got the woolen ones that I can use for casual wear if need be. We've also packed with two, t two, two shirts. Um, both of these shirts are good for everyday use and they can double as if I, if for some reason I find myself at a fancy dinner. Um, also packing uh, one pair of jeans and two pairs of shorts. Everyday, sh one pair of sports shorts and another pair of everyday shorts. So let's pack this in. Really I should have taken my own advice here and put these shirts on the bottom of this packing cube but we're already rolling so make a note for next time. Poetry's bag taken in here actually. Since we are going to a few different climates, what have I acquired? Deodorant, anti chafe cream, a must if you're going on a multi day hike, antiseptic cream, hand sanitizer, band aids, heaps of Panadol, and a few other knickknacks. Um, also, not in this video, I've obviously got my toothbrush and toothpaste. <laughs> Alright. Wet wipes, handy to have. Hydrolite. Jeans in this side, just loose. Now, on this side, what have we got? One, two, three, four, five, and six pairs of undies, plus the one I've, ones I've got on. Need to buy another packing cube. Let's tuck in there. And then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six pairs of socks. These two are really great 100% uh, wool socks for hiking. Um, these are just everyday socks. Um, reason I don't carry much socks is because when I'm not hiking, I'm generally just wearing thongs or flip flops. Um, so they're a bit of a waste of space. As far as dirty laundry goes, I do have one more packing cube that I take with me. And how it generally works is all the clothes in this packing cube, they they take up X amount of weight. 
So when something's dirty out of this, it goes into here. And when they're in the bag, it's still the same amount of space taken up. But right now, I've just done my washing and everything's clean. So we'll just slot this one in. Final two pieces of the puzzle, an extra charging uh, power pack. And if need be, uh, this unfolds to like a really small day pack. If need be, I can use it. All right, let's see how it goes. Beautiful. All right, what I love about this bag is they are, there is so many different ways to keep it compact. One, where is it? Two. That's on top there. I think we're good. That can even come down some. That goes on top. Ah. It's a bit tight. <laughs> we are fully loaded. Okay, so I'm really happy with this setup. I'm sure it will change throughout the journey. Um, if you're new to this channel, I've previously done a one month plus carry on only trip for Southeast Asia. So I'll put the link up here or up here. I'm not sure which side it will go on. Um, and also, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see some cool parts of the world and get some advice on how to travel there, please like and subscribe to this channel.